Hello all, welcome back to World of Kings. Today I'm going to take some time and uh, teach you a little bit about the Bard. Uh, the Bard is a good healer. Uh, they have very low DPS. Um, I, I was, I've seen uh, some stats from about 1.1 to 1.6 million DPS. Uh, those are in cap OLs, like whatever the highest L OL your gear store will allow you to do. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just go over the spells with you. Uh, Bard's primary heal is called this one here. This is called Rapid Shot. Uh, Rapid Shot uh, heals for over a million, uh, depending on when it crits. It heals for about eight or nine hundred thousand. Um, just as a normal hit, but it crits all the time. It's one of your most used spells. It's also one of the first that you should get to level 10 if you if you got the couple hundred gold to spend on a soul. Uh, Rapid Shot is definitely your most important heal. However, it does have some limitations. Um, the Bard's Rapid Shot heals 15 meters from its target. So... Um, it's always best to stay in close to the boss whenever you're um, working with a bard or if you're uh, healing with a bard that's that's one of your limitations um, however it, it the total healing range of a bard is about 18 meters in diameter from the bard and from his target um, I need to do some math on them but it's about 18 meters also the bard does have targeted healing um, you can select the character in the party panel over here and uh, rapid shot in that direction and as long as they're within 15 meters of that target whatever their target is they'll receive a heal uh, one of the, what the bar is famous for however is its uh, song of heroes which is this one here song of heroes is your party buff so it buffs I think six or seven people at a time and it does not buff the whole raid um, people do prefer the vamp uh, buff to the bards uh, bards is more for uh, crit damage instead of crit rate it does do some crit rate but nowhere near as much as the, the vampire um, this particular spell once it's level 10 uh, song of heroes once it's level 10 it will heal anybody in your group up that's not the tank back to full uh, so you can cast this every uh, seven to eight seconds. Well, let's look at what it says on the screen here about it. It's not very often. It's, it's like every yeah every seven seconds you can cast that. It will bring everybody back to full health at a level ten skill. It's important to have all your skills at level nine. So if if you if you just want to try bard, you do need to make sure you have level nine skills. Um, while this fight's going on here, I'm going to show you a couple of things about the fight. The Bard, you know, this particular team is actually pretty good at staying within the, the Bard's range. Uh, I've been finding a lot more characters, or, or, or DPS especially, uh, are able to, to deal with the Bard's range. Uh, I'm not going to be able to show you on this particular boss, but I will draw out the range for you. Um, it's just something you, you get used to. All healers know their ranges and how far they can heal from. Um, the perfect place for a bard to sit is in between the melee DPS and the range DPS. Uh, this is where you should stay all the time because you can reach, uh, whenever you have the inscriptions filled out, you can reach 8 meters behind you and 8 meters in front of you. Uh, also, you should stand at the maximum range of that. That way you heal uh, another 15 meters diameter around the boss. This is good for people who are melee. Uh, bards love all melee teams <laughs> because it's so easy to heal them. However, oh, if you you have to chase people down to be a bard. Uh, there's people that just don't, don't know how to play with them. If you don't want to do that, then you're not going to like farting. But I mean, I, I actually like chasing people down to give them the heal. Um, my bard's pretty powerful now. I'll try to go over my talents here with you in a moment. Um, I have a couple different specs. Uh, but basically, I 
I put most of my points in uh, like plus five. And now I'm in the nick of time, yeah. Because I have three spells. The uh, this spell here. Not that one. Darn it, I missed it. That was easy to do. This one here. Oh, let me just mark it with this. It's right there. This is his paralyzing shot. It does a bit of damage. It's good for, like, um, you know, farming trash mobs out in the wild somewhere. It's not all that powerful. It does um, block. That is our uh, block a spell. If, if a caster's blocking a spell, you can do that every 30 seconds. If a mob happens to die while they are infected with paralyzing shot, the paralyzing shot resets. That's why it's a really good farming tool. Uh, also, this one here. This is one of your most powerful spells. It is... I don't know, it's called Song of Something. Not Song of Hero. That's, that's, the, that's the heal spell. This one does not heal. However, it does decrease any AoE damage that's coming down on you, like a Space Storm. I decided it would be best to, like, uh play a video to teach you about barding, um, because I'm not really all that good of a narrator, <laughs> and uh, this was a, one of my better uh, situations with the bard, it was, we were all pretty much built for this uh, cluster 5 uh, ice wind, and it was, it was a little bit of a challenge, and it was, it was fun. Uh, just going over the spell some more of the spell here. Let's see, where's my paintbrush at? There it is. This spell here, this is disengage. Um, I thought at one point you could do a dot mastery with the with the bard, you know. It would be awesome if one of these other spells would enhance the damage over time spells that the bard casts, because there's there's several of them. Um but disengage is a little bit better for PvP. If you are barding uh, PvP and barding, they're they're not the greatest because they they tend to die pretty quickly. They don't, they don't take a lot of damage. Plus, I have low health. So, I mean, that, that's the case with all my classes. Anyway, disengage. The disengage mastery also is a good one. It's a good for PvP because it gets you away from anybody but a mage. You can't run from a mage. It's just, you know, they, they can blink twice in a row, some of them. Uh, but uh, disengage also uh, activates Nick of Time. This gives you control of when you need to heal for more. So I need to heal for 25% more with Nick of Time. Every time I cast Disengage or uh, it's not a Song or something, I have to look it up in a little while. Uh, or the or the Rapid Shot, it gives me 25% more healing. Now I, I, I don't know that that's a better spec than other specs, but I don't have enough points in. Uh, my other specs to make it better than that so i always keep that particular spec for nick of time uh it takes a little while to get plus five in nick of time but it's really helpful for any lower healer um it's really helpful for bard because he has three different 30 second cooldowns um however it doesn't he, the only thing i turn do with him in pvp is just res people and then i go right back to tanking um looking at this fight here we're, we're, we have all uh, range DPS, but they are all pretty good players. They know where to gather at. Uh, last spell I want to go over is the Harp of Blessings. Harp of Blessings is a very important spell. Often you have to find yourself uh, not using a Song of Heroes because it's also your Dispel Harp of Blessings. It has like a 10 or 12 second cooldown on it, but with the tier 1 or the tier 3 set, either one of them, you can reduce the cooldown of Harp of Blessings. Also, for any class, for tanks and healers especially, 
you can edit these little emotes down here on the bottom and they'll pop up a little phrase above your head that you can tell people, you know, close in on me to get heals or you know, taunt off me, things like that. Uh, really helpful. Um, but this, the, the last spell, it's Harp of Blessings. The, every time I cast, oh, actually there's one more spell, Him. Him is actually the, the most powerful spell I've seen because it's the highest crit I've ever seen was off of Him. It was like 1.3 or 1.4 million heal per second on a single target. So this one here is Him. Him is one of our newer spells, and it's definitely one of the more powerful ones. Uh, this, it's, I think it's got a 5 meter or 10 meter cast range, so it's around the bard. Um, I think on this particular one here, I can actually show you the range of the bard. Let's do that real quick. But him heals up to 5 players, and if there's only 1 player injured, it's just 1 player. But uh, this is definitely, it's, it's a, a very brief spell. Uh, it's an instant cast also, and you can cast it every, like, six or seven seconds. Well, it's just like ten seconds almost. It's about ten seconds. All right, real quick here. I want to just show you the cast range of a bard. Let's pause here and go back a second. So right about there. Right here. All right, no, that's not good. Yeah, it is. It will go right here. Right here. Alright, let's see. Right here. No, I need an upper view. Oh, darn it. Right here. There. Okay, let me show you the cash range for a bard. You see this uh, pink thing around me right here? Uh, I don't know the name of the spell off the top of my head, but uh, I'll look that up in a little while for you. Um, I was going to draw on here real quick. This entire area... Oh, darn it. That, 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 right here, this thing. This entire area right here, this is the 15-meter cash range here. Roughly. Actually, I think it's actually a little further out than that. Something like this. That's the range of a bard's Song of Heroes. And out here, let's do a different color. <laughs> Green. This area here from the boss, this is about 15 meters from the boss. So this is where you don't ever want to be standing far to our left or far to our right. right. Um, because there's a little cutoffs over there. Anywhere else, you're going to get healed. It's about 18 meters when you combine the two. It's uh, 15 from the boss, and then 8 from the bard. So the uh, range is, if you're good at barding, this little bit of a range limitation is not a big deal for you at all. Um, sometimes you get chased down, dumbass DPS are standing out in the middle of nowhere, but that's okay. You, you have to do that if, you, if you're a bard. It's just part of the life. <laughs> All right, let's let this play out. Um, this particular bard does suffer from low HP. Um, so he, he dies quite a bit. He also has five points in Dying Strike, and that's just not good to have if you have low HP to start with. Um, but it does make him heal quite a bit more. I, just, I can't get rid of that spec. <laughs> I die quite a bit in PvP. Um... But people have been asking me to build a barding video. I mean, if you're an archer, a marksman, or a demon hunter, you really should have barding unlocked. At least get level 9 skills. And whatever master you already have will be fine. They actually heal um, fine with all three masteries. The Song of Heroes mastery um, is definitely their more powerful healing. Uh, if you have, like, a tank who has a lot of health, you'll have to have the... the Song of Heroes Mastery to be able to heal him back to full with your Song of Heroes. Um, Song of Heroes heals, I believe, seven people at a time in a raid. And it also does a little calculation to see which of those players, which of the lowest seven people 
you only heal the lowest ones first. And if they have full health, you don't heal them at all. Um, that's why they do really well in, like, uh, Warhammer Hall and not as well in, like, Warhammer Peak. Um, so they they don't do as much burst healing, especially like to a, as a saint. Saint does a lot more burst healing, um, but they do heal a lot of people really quickly because they can cast that over and over and over again. Um, also, the new spell him him um, it, it's it's you cast it differently. Um, whenever you're pulling trash mobs, you get pulled towards the mobs and silenced for a little bit. Him can't be silenced. So, uh, that's a, another good reason to have it. Now, a Song of Heroes can be silenced, uh, but him cannot. Uh, that's another important thing to remember. Um, these purple things out here, these are seeds. Um, they spread if you stay within the... They, they do a minor amount of damage. Um, but bars also have to dispel all the time with the... With the, uh... What the heck is that even called? Harp of Blessings, that's the one that despawns them. We have way more videos. I have a whole Google Drive full of videos. This is Templar, this is Archon, this is Archon, Mechanical Maze, this is Templar. This is Barding, let's do some more Barding. Play. Okay, now this one here, you see we... The bar needs to always stay in front of the DPS. If you're if you are ranged DPS, you need to stay behind the bars, but not to the left or to the right of them, like far to the left or far to the right, because those are the cutoff areas. So let me just show you on this. This is a good little section here, where he would not want to stand with a bard. I mean, would be right here, or way down in here. You cannot stand there or there. You will not receive a heal. You're you're standing too far from the bard. Anybody within, you know, this area here, <laughs> you know, they're all going to get healed. Actually, more, or, you know, like that also, but you get the idea. I just wanted to show that it's, it's uh, the bard doesn't have a trouble, any trouble healing people. In fact, they heal very well, especially in five mans. It just, I've never really ran into any situations in over a year uh, with five man dungeons. Uh, they, as it used to be a problem in like uh, Twilight Monastery that dude does the fire that was a problem back in the like 1.0 but ever since then things have been good also Bard's energy um, it, it's not really a big deal because you refill it every time you cast Song of Heroes and Song of Heroes is your buff so you want to do it all the time I mean there are some times when you hold back Song of Heroes um, but it's not when you have to, it, it, it's a 7 second cooldown, so it's, it's really quick and easy. Uh, the Bard's main main uh, ultimate spell, it's this one here, I didn't go over that one yet. It is a shield, I've done some math on it, and it, it blocks a spell up to about 250,000, I'm pretty sure. Um, somebody... Okay, so lastly I want to go over uh, just a couple more of the spells and show you some of the inscriptions for... Bard. Uh, the song I couldn't think of the uh, that, that spell I couldn't think of the name of was Song of Sirens. It's definitely one of uh, the Bard's more powerful spells. Uh, if you read about it here, it says uh, while you have Rising Spirit, so anytime you cast Song of Heroes, Song of Sirens becomes available. Uh, him, him blankets the area, healing. That's the, that's the Healing Rain one. Healing Rain is the other skill, the Bard's original skill. It was horrible. It put a mark on the ground, and it made the Bard's range very confusing. People thought that Bard's could not heal outside of that range, so it's it was a horrible spell. It still doesn't heal very well either. Uh, him uh, uh, heal, heals up to 7 meters from the Bard, healing up to 6 allies, 630% of attack, Plus 5,670 in total. This healing is done averagely shared by all the targets. Um, so if there are six allies that are injured, all six of them will receive a split of the total uh, tick of the of the hem. It's a hot spell, so it's a heal over time. Uh, 
seven meters for five seconds. So for five seconds, five ticks, every tick it it it, uh, it heals. Each one of those has the opportunity to crit. Um, and I've I've seen him heal up to about one point four million on a single target. If there were seven targets, it would divide that by seven. Uh, and rapid shot, rapid shots definitely the most important uh, skill for the bard. It heals everybody in melee range of the boss, uh, 15 meters from the boss. Some of the inscriptions. Uh, the rapid shot I have damage on and crit, uh, critical damage on. Um, however, the important one to do is Song of Heroes. Song of Heroes, it starts off at six. Uh, uh, six meters from the bard. That's how far it heals away. Um, but you can extend that up to eight. So it's the, the entire range of the radius of the bard's circle is eight meters in diameter. Uh, also for him, it's important to cast this off as possible. So I reduce the cooldown by about 2.1 seconds. These are really the only two inscriptions that are important for the Bard is for Song of Heroes and Hem. Um, this one, I've, I've also tested other inscriptions for Rapid Shot. Uh, the other one good is the range. You can, if you extend the range of the attack, it can go up to about 22 meters. A Harp of Blessings, it uses a lot of energy. So I put uh, energy cost reduction in that one so it reduces it by about at this point by about maybe almost nine percent um i might change that i don't i don't know yet and you can reset your inscriptions here by clicking reset and then reset them for 80 diamonds um mastery something that i've noticed with all masteries is it doesn't as long as you're not running your cap OL, you can actually run with any mastery you want. The cap OL, you'll have to run with whichever mastery gives you the highest rating. So let's just say for like Dragon Rider, most people would put all their points in Dragon's Blood because that's the, the main mastery. However, I have found that you don't ever need Dragon's Blood on anything but your cap OL and maybe Dark Spire. Anything else, you can run with either of the other masteries and it will work out just fine I'm going to test out this lingering sound I've never really used it <laughs> let's see what it does the final shot of rabbit shot heals you for 41% more the second shot of rabbit shot heals up to three allies within 15 meters for 30% of the total base damage 30% does not seem like much to me and it doesn't actually make the shot of rapid shot any more powerful yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> the main one is voice. Increases the song of he healing by 33%. Inspired allies receive 10,000 hit points and damage by 10%. Expand the song, the song of heroes radius by 3 meters. I don't make no sense. 3 meters. It started off at 6 meters. I don't, I don't see the addition of the 3 meters inside of the spell. Yeah, it started at 6 meters, so it, it didn't extend it. Any of the inscriptions did extend it and extend its range. But the... Yeah, the mastery did not extend it out an additional 3 meters. I need to fix that. <laughs> This is the 8 meter range. The hem is a much smaller range than the Song of Heroes. This is Rapid Shot. It's probably one of your most powerful spells. It 
it heals most DPS back to full health with, with just one fire of it. Uh, it does heal the tank sometimes back to half. Uh, it's also probably the majority of your damage as well. Uh, this is your dispel. It, it also has other. <clears throat> Daughter's trying to whisper to me. A sonic wave blasts towards the target, dealing this amount of damage to entries you know, along its path. It hits a bunch of people. It's actually like a cone attack almost uh, within 15 yards of the boss and healing yourself for 10 times your dex. And addition, the Harbor Blessing dispels all harmful effects on seven allies with the lowest health within six yards. This one, I'm not going to read all that. <laughs> you guys can pause the video and read it all. Um, but Song of Heroes is definitely one of your more important spells. You need to get as much haste as you can because the spell is, uh, by default, this particular spec is 3.3. If I switch my talents from Ignite to my healing spec. Artifact. That brings it down to 3.25. When I cast this particular pet buff, it brings it down to 2.6. Whenever I cast Harper Blessing, because they got the tier 3 bonus, it brings it down another 0.2 seconds. I'm in a Hug Pantheon, the Dragon Sky here. Nick of Time is what my build is built after. It's it's good when you don't have a lot of points in the fall, the, the, the end uh, trees, and mine aren't good enough to boast about. Uh, looking at my talents, mastery. Uh, all three masteries do work. I, I never did a whole lot with lingering sound, but the uh, voice is definitely the main. It gives you the most uh, rating. And the, the trap master is a lot better for PvP. Uh, the song of song of heroes doesn't heal all that much in PvP. So uh, that's, uh, basically, you got one spec for pve and then one for pvp the other one doesn't heal people enough to warrant putting a whole lot of effort into it but i have all three because i play many classes for this particular build i have several builds saved in here however um i found the most important thing is to have 20 points minimum minimum in uh Chanting because it, it increases your casting speed uh, Not your haste your your haste increases your casting speed, but it's a lot more haste than actual percentage points here I put myself on auto and do this thing here um, This these ones here. This is a more of a PvP spill whenever you paralyzing shot someone or you root them to the ground with a disengage it does more damage Back to the talents. <laughs> um, crit damage is not as important as crit rate um, because you want to crit more often. And if you have a couple points you can put into the crit damage one, that's good in case you roll that. Um, I find the with bards, uh, with bards, it's better to do more damage at the top end. One reason I say that is because things are a lot worse for a bard going into the fight than finishing through. Uh, once you get it down below 50%, everything is pretty easy for, when it comes to healing. The 5 and uh, Dying Strike is actually a bad thing for me. I'd rather have the points in well trained, uh, but I haven't been able to roll that, so you know that's just the luck of the draw. Um, but for anything, uh, any OL, I could do all my cap OLs with plus 5 and Dying Strike, no problem. Uh, raids, though, there's a HP cap. So it really messes you up when you're taking 6% more damage. Uh, in the strategy tree, which is more for healers, um, 
this particular the hit rate. Uh, I, I've never really noticed myself ever missing with a with a bard. As it seems to always heal the third shot of rapid strike. Um, I do like to run faster, but I don't have a lot of points in it in, on this particular build. Uh, this unyielding wheel, I just happened to roll that. That's the only reason it's even in there. The precision is good because it negates uh, crit uh, crit rate. Uh, your precision negates their resistance to crit. <coughs> also, uh, these ones here, all three of these are good for a bard. All three. Uh, this for, last one though is not as good because you have to press disengage to use it. Um, however, this one gives you more resilience, which uh, resists uh, like a crit rate of other players. Uh, most important one I, I use is the Nick of Time because the Bard has three abilities that are 30 seconds or longer. Increases my healing by up to 25% for six seconds. This is something I can do like almost all the time, you know, heal for 25% more. It's good if you don't have one of these uh, talents that are better in the bottom here for, you know, damage. Uh, the damage ones, um, they're a proc, so the proc part of it does not actually heal you any further. Um, uh, the proc off of the, uh, the opportunity attack, you know, it, it's a separate attack. You can see whenever you're fighting things. Well, that's it for my barding video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm not going to say I'm like the best bard or something like that, but it's definitely a really fun class. I I play it uh, mostly for the challenge. It's, it's, it's very difficult with some groups to to uh, you know, function with a bard, but um, I actually enjoy that that little bit of a challenge. Uh, so that's why I play it. There's there's no other healer like it in any other MMO. I've, I've never seen a healing bard before. Uh, I also, I also have specs and, and other things. I'm not going to go over what the best specs are, um, but typically you want to shoot for the bottom of the trees. You know, ignite you know, five, three to five points and ignite and 35 points in opportunity attack. Um, the bard does not do much damage uh, in general, so I mean, I wouldn't even think about it mostly. You, you just need to focus on your healing. Your damage is never going to be great, so I, I wouldn't put a whole lot of thought into it. Um, if you want to do damage, build an Archon. I've seen them do some crazy damage, but uh, their melee is totally different. Uh, so. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my party video.